Hello everyone, this is Arun and today I'm going to talk about uh, machine learning models, Google Cloud uh, deployment and how to use them in RPA. Right? So uh, this, is, this is one of the pet projects I did recently. So what I did was I just created a linear regression model out of this simple data set what you see on your screen. So that model would predict the Exxon price, Exxon oil, Exxon price based on the oil price, right? So once I have that model in place, I would create a Flask application and host that model in the Flask application and then deploy it in the Google Cloud instance so that the applications can be accessed as a uh, API call by any automation. And Finally, I'll be using UiPath and automation anyway to call this uh, machine learning models. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. Uh, I just started with the, this simple data set. I didn't have a lot of features. Uh, I didn't want to do a lot of feature engineering, so I just kept it simple. Um, we just need to predict the X1 price based on this oil price. Okay, so to, I'll walk through the code I used. Uh, for this exercise, right? I use scikit-learn package, which is a Python package for machine learning uh, model creations. Uh, we have two uh, modules here. One is a model creation where I read the uh, data, I do some formatting with the data, that is a pre-processing, cleaning up the data, and then we need to assign Y and X values the Y value is the X1 price and the X value is the oil price. So once we have these prices, then we have to just use a linear regression model to create and fit those uh, values uh, and then find the values for the intercepts, coefficients and get the accuracy. Once we have the accuracy for these uh, of the model, then we could dump it into a, a pickle file. These are very standard data science steps which anyone can follow. Right? The next function here is predict which I'm going to showcase to you now where I'll be reading this pickle file, loading it and then predicting the X1 price based on oil price. So the pickle file I've already created is placed in this folder which is just a 1kb pickle file. I kept it so simple so that the deployment doesn't take a lot of time right okay let me quickly run this code so I'm passing in 67.33 as my oil price and predicted value is 86 percentage I'm just using the pickle model which I've, uh, which I've already created okay uh, if you have any doubts you can refer to any scikit-learn uh, tutorials out there right but anyway, I'll upload all these packages into my GitHub and provide the link in the comment section. So once I have this model in place, the next step is build a Flask application where we could uh, host this model. And that's that's what you see here, all right? We have Flask and Pickle. So the main uh, would, when we enter, uh, when we, uh, Get into, get into the home page, we would be greeted by an hello and then we, if you want to really use the machine learning model then you need to use this predict followed by the oil price. Right? right? Uh, so this is just a get request. So we are passing in the oil price uh, then we would get the response which in this uh, JSON format. Just the oil price and the X1 price. Mm, I could quickly run and show you this one in my local mission uh, to show you how this one works as well, right? So when I run it, so it did take a couple of seconds. Yes, so it's running in 127.0.0.1 port 5000. So we greeted by hello and predict if I want to predict. I'm going to pass in the oil price of $90. Okay, if the oil price is 90, the X1 price is 91. Okay, so 
so this works in my local machine and this is proof of this right so let me stop that server now once we do, do this sanity check then we need to uh, bring all these files and create a package which we need to upload uh, into a Google Cloud instance okay for Google Cloud app we need four important things one is the main.py so I just rename my flash.py into main.py the second one is the app.aml which will have the runtime of what we use uh, which is uh, which here is the Python uh, library 37 so I use 3.7 version so that's the Python version I'm using uh, the next one is we need to have the pickle file with us and the requirements so requirements would, would have all the packages we used uh, to build these like uh, the pickle uh, the, I use pickle uh, then flask scikit-learn so there are few more things here which are not used but there are some dependencies where I didn't remove them as well so you can play with them and check it out how it works for you right so the other two files what I have here is the regression model which I showed you which is actually we don't need it for to build the application but I just kept it for reference and the data as well right which we don't need but I'm just having all this I hosted all these files uh, in my github uh, repository so that you can use it later okay so what we have all the once we have these things set up then what we need to do is we need to go to Google Cloud Platform and then create this uh, application and make sure that you have you set up the billing account and also enable uh, cloud build cloud build right so cloud build should be enabled if you want to build this application in your Google Cloud so make sure that you enable this I didn't do it in the first place so it took some time for me so don't make that mistake okay so once we have this what I did was I downloaded the Google Cloud SDK so install Google Cloud SDK once you have this SDK in your place uh, uh, in your uh, desktop what we need to do is we need to browse to the folder which, which hosts all the files once you go there you initiate your Google Cloud in it So confirm your uh, ID, choose your project, which is my local VAS project. So once I did that, then we need to do a couple more steps. Like here, I'm just uh, creating an app. So once you start, once you create an app, it would ask you to choose a region. So choose a region where you need, where you are located. In my case, uh, I was in US Central, so 14. So once that is done, your app is ready. You then deploy your app, right? So once you deploy, in the, in my case, this is a URL for my app. So so done successfully, and my app is available here, right? So okay. So let's let's pass in this let's pass in an oil price so when you when you log in you will be here and then if you want to use it uh oh okay okay in this case uh, we change 90 just to show it works when the oil price is 90 the x1 price is 91 right so this is my app which is working on Google Cloud it could be accessed anywhere this is how we could leverage our machine learning model in as an API call from uh, from Google right so once I have it then I could call it from automation anywhere UI path or anyone anywhere for the sake right so let me start with the UI path because and 
if you see I'm just passing the endpoint as the URL application I just created my fast local app spot predict the same thing what you saw in that web browser right so that's the same URL I'm using I'm just doing an HTTP request let's see if we are getting the desired output so what I would pass is the oil price let's say I'm going to pass $90 I click OK as this is hosted in my own um, Google Cloud I didn't purchase the, uh, the fastest server and the network speed is not that great so it will take some time for a result so yes now we have the result back so this is the raw format and I did some formatting so the Exxon price is $91 for oil price of $89 right so this is how you use it in your UI path I did a very similar thing where I am passing an oil price of $45 in automation anywhere I've just used this rest get method so as it's a cloud application it would take some time for deploying it in my desktop but you'll get the idea right so so this is this can be used anywhere uh, and uh, I think this would be the backbone of the UI paths AA fabric as well this is how they might have also built it in a much more sophisticated way right so if you see I passed in 45 the excellent price is 80 80 dollars so we are getting this prediction based on the machine learning model I created and hosted in the Google Cloud instance right so so this is what I wanted to showcase today and uh, I'll also uh, paste I'll also go, uh, add this uh, github repository in the comments uh, okay thanks for your time and uh, hopefully I'll get you uh, next interesting project